Welcome back. Karachi Breweries Limited and Africa Spirit Limited are among 24 distillers whose licenses stand suspended until they comply with government requirements. Of 29 manufacturers and distillers of second generation alcohol, only Kenyan Nut Company and UDV Company were found compliant. Three other distillers were granted conditional approval. And as Francis Mtalaki reports, the Interior Ministry says it has seized more than 1.4 million litres of illicit brew in its push against the brews in March. Pub owners have demanded that the government come clear on the reopening of joints that were shut down for vetting. Keroche Breweries Limited is one of the big names in a list of distillers and manufacturers of second generation alcohol that remain suspended for failing to comply with the government regulations. Another high profile distiller that risks withdrawal of their license is African Spirit Limited. Three other distillers were given the go ahead to resume operations, but subject to fulfilling some conditions, they are. Kenya Wine Agencies Limited, Qual, Savannah Brands Company Limited, and Patiala Distillers Kenya Limited. The two other companies are part of a list of 24 that have been given 21 days starting Monday 8th April to comply with the government's conditions of first revocation of all licenses permits and authorizations. The government has in the last one month been conducting a vetting process for all 29 active manufacturers and distillers of second generation alcohol in its ongoing war against illicit brews. Anybody participating in the entire supply chain of uh, narcotics has a date with us. Interior Ministry also announcing achievements in the battle against illicit brews with more than 1.4 liters of illicit alcohol, 46,273 liters of counterfeit and uncustomized alcohol, and 2,559 liters of ethanol netted by security officers. 9,269 non-compliant outlets have been closed in the ongoing crackdown, with the same fate befalling. 150 shisha outlets. 12,433 people have been arrested in the ongoing crackdown against illicit brews and drug abuse. The war on illicit brew is, however, the subject of increasing frustration among pub, entertainment and restaurants Association of Kenya Perak members. They accuse the government of frustrating them. They claim they have been forced to shut down their businesses and face constant harassment from county security officers. They maintain it is the responsibility of county government to conduct crackdowns and not the national government. We also take note of the blatant disregard of court orders by the government with regards to this matter. A case in point is a failure to adhere to the stay orders issued by the Kisumu and Taita Taveta High Courts, directing the government not to interfere with the daily operations of bars and other alcohol retail establishments. Security officials also conducted a crackdown in Nandi County earlier today. Francis Mtalaki, Citizen TV, Mombasa.